Hello, hello, Team Sharon. It's your girl again. Another beautiful day here in Mombasa. Enjoying my stay so far. So uh, today is a brand new day. The weather is uh, hot as as usual. Should I say as usual? Yeah, because it's a norm now in Mombasa. It's it's extremely hot. So it's another day. Like I mentioned in my previous video yesterday, I couldn't get, uh, I didn't get much time to showcase like uh, the beautiful spots in Mombasa. So today I want to, I want you guys to come along with me. I want to, we want to go to uh, the old town of Mombasa, go to Fort Jesus and uh, go and also see how the ferry works. Uh, if time allows and I'm crossing fingers it does because at least uh, it's bright and early morning. So please come with me and uh, let's enjoy the beautiful city of Mombasa. See you. And off we go. Mishayo Matapi
Like I mentioned, I was coming to Fort Jesus. So uh, when you when you go on vacation, you don't have really to break an arm for these things. Eh? You choose the the should I say cheap is not a good word. You choose the most fairly priced thing. So I opted to use the the matatu because it's it's, it's affordable. Yeah, and like using a, a taxi or something like from Bamburi to here, using a taxi is close to one thousand. And with the with the with the matatu I just paid a hundred bucks, so it's, it's quite fair. So from Bamburi, I came to CBD, I lighted at the cathedral, uh, the cathedral. So the road that I'm on is the one that's, uh, is the only road that leads to, to Fort Jesus. So I'm heading there now, uh, just to see the Fort Jesus. I've never been there by the way, it's, it's also my first time. So I'm really excited <laughs> to, see, to see what happens there because some of these sceneries you get to hear about and you've never witnessed. It's not. Uh, it, it, I can't be telling my children about these things, and yet I personally haven't experienced. So it's my first year uh, in Fort Jesus. So come with me for a free tour. You guys are lucky. A free tour on your end, and uh, let's see how Fort Jesus looks like. They are so big. last year in December because they are usually seasonal they come in December so how much? 50 bucks hey boys it's at 250 yeah. now so coming in it's at 250 then me how much? 
mwana nimelia sana haya ni yake hapo so look how cool they look eh? i just want to test them there We are now in Old Town. This is the first Old Town in Mombasa, where the Portuguese used to stay. Hmm? I know, I know a bit of this. Yeah. <laughs> this is where they used to stay, and uh, we have the Bank of India. That uh, was the first bank, Bank of India in Kenya. So this is the famous Old Town in Mombasa. So we are we are on our way to Portuguese. Around the corner there, let's uh, keep going and see what's happening there. Huh? So, guys, today I've told you I'm taking you down history lane. So, uh, this is the famous birika eh? kettle. Kettle. So, it's made up of pure copper, as you see. It's made up of pure copper, and then. The, the Arabs and the Swahili people use these uh, similar things for te while taking their coffee. So this, uh, as we can see from the history written there, it was a gift to Mombasa built by da -da -da -da, under the initiative of Mombasa and the Coast Tourist Association. Wow, interesting. And it's it's actually it's honestly made of pure pure copper. So guys, there is no way I could come to Fort Jesus and not visit the the old town like I mentioned. So I didn't know like the old town is spread like So I came, uh, I came just to tour around, and uh, as you can see, the first uh, the first old fort in Mombasa. Yeah, it's here in the in old town. Uh, the, we have the old fort, the, the old whatever. So many amazing uh, gift shops and uh, curio markets around, which has really good antique pieces. You can just come and uh, if you want to give someone a unique thing, yeah, not the usual Masai market stuff, they have really awesome antique stuff. You can come check it out. So we just, I'm just showing the old town before I proceed back to, uh, to the main agenda of the day, first Jesus. Mm. For putting clothes. And what is My my mom used to have such a bag. Oh, this is memories. Mom, look what I found. Eh? You used to own such a bag in Nakuru. Yeah? Oh, this is really nice. And you can and get for someone and give them then they put it as a as a deco piece in the house because I don't think you can carry it around. Yeah, it can work as a very awesome deco piece at home. Wow. Yeah, and then in his look to this uh whatever it looks really unique. The first post office in Mombasa. Uh, hey, it's indeed the old town. The, the buildings are are quite older, but you can't tell they've really maintained them. Mm -hmm. They're trying to maintain to keep their their history. So there's a lot of activities going on because. Uh, because we have people from different nations uh, just coming to, to tour yeah, the okay. old town. Yeah. For those who don't know Korodani, there's a Korodani restaurant here in Old Town. It is famous for, it has all the Swahili cuisine. Name it, everything, anything you know about Swahili delicacy, you'll find it under one roof. So those who want to come on a bakay as a team, maybe girls, a girls bakay, boys bakay, and you really want to enjoy the Swahili cuisine, 
come to Oil Town, Korogani restaurant is your plan. It has everything. Also, he did a little bit and then the beautiful thing is that uh, we'll go to the other side, you'll see the beach is just there, so you get to enjoy the breeze uh, as you as you enjoy your meal, yeah? Mm -hmm. So the old town is, uh, it's, it's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. I'm surprised that I've been, I've been touring Mombasa and uh, <laughs> because this is not my first time in Mombasa, but it's my first time in old town. Old Town has a lot of rich history that one needs to know, especially as a Kenyan. Yeah, you need to know about your culture and about your history. So for those who just come to, for those who come to visit Mombasa, you just go to South Coast to the beach. Yeah, come to Old Town. Yeah, you need to visit Old Town and uh, just to get to know about the the beautiful history of Mombasa, of Mombasa town. These are some of the buildings here, the old buildings. We have the, the famous mosque. It's called the Mandri, Mandri Mosque, which was built in 1570. Eh? Was even any of you born? <laughs> yeah? They've really maintained it. You can't even tell this. Uh, it's such an old... Uh, One, this one was built the same year as the mosque in 1570. Yeah, rich culture, rich culture that uh, the guys around have really, uh, have really mm -hmm. maintained and kept. Uh, really they look at you, yeah, but they are they're very old buildings. That's why the famous phrase old town, old town Mombasa. Jesus, you get to see what's happening there. So there are just different, different uh, buildings. Just different buildings with uh, some, I can say, there are more, some are library. There. And then we have the, the first hotel in Kenya. You can see it, uh, it began its operation in uh, 1901. Ah. So that's the, this is the first hotel. First hotel in Kenya. We left the map timing. I can see it's locked, otherwise, we would have gone in just to see. African cuisine. Be rest assured to, uh, to have to have the bridge. So this is the Mombasa County Park and Beaches. Yeah, it's maintained uh, by Mombasa County. At least they are, they are considerate. Yeah, they have the two nice benches here where you can just have. Uh, this end and that other end from here for those who know the English Point Marina it's on the other end the glass place there so there was a bridge that would connect uh, this side to that side I don't know why they demolished it or maybe they built it on the same yeah? it would have really made our work easier like we would have just closed 
and uh, avoided the traffic in town. But anyway, they have good seasons. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know why I still feel the water here is uh, is uh, is clean. <laughs> Unlike the other end in Pirate, it looks it looks nice. Um, and I don't know how deep this is. A lot of to explore, not just coming and going to Kenyatta Beach and going back to the to the train and heading to Nairobi. Especially for those who haven't visited Old Town. Old Town has has uh, has amazing things one would love to know. Yeah, so make it a point. Come visit the Old Town and just get to see what's what's going on because I haven't gone to every shop there because in some of the shops in some of the places there they don't allow filming so it's better if you come in person just to see what's uh, really going on mm -hmm. wow this is beautiful very beautiful and howling mm -hmm. is... so you need to talk about that Me and my dad are in our Shapigo. We are going to Shapigo. So I want to try. I want to try out the Madafu. I don't know what it's called in English. Yeah. Apparently they are saying it helps in cleansing the the kidney. Yeah. yeah. So I need to I need to leave Mombasa when my liver is my kidney is cleansed. <laughs> I almost said the liver. Eh? I'm exaggerating. Welcome. Thank you. Mmm. It's nice. I love Kenya. I love uh, so I want to take one I want to take one for, for myself and then one for my sister. Huh? So I'm trying to see which one which one you can make. Oh. So Stanny chose for you this one. Oh, I love how you're marketing your, your things. <laughs> yeah, so guys, I want to go first to the first beach harbor before I take you through to First Jesus. Yeah, so let's get down. I was just talking to a nice gentleman who is uh, really selling nice bracelets here. What's this? Oh, 150. Yeah, how much is this? Tower. We go down to uh, to see the beach harbor. I can see kids enjoying their swimming. We just take a sneak peek before we head now to uh, Fort Jesus. I know I've kept you waiting, but it will be worth the wait. Just stay, keep it low. Just stay in there. So, finally, 
it's a, it's a little bit hectic. It's a little bit hectic. I I I think they should work on it, yeah. Because you have there's a certain amount, there's a certain fee you have to pay for. But unfortunately, it's just one lady serving, and there's a whole queue. You can imagine being a festive season, so many people want to come and see. So they should uh, the museum, the national museum, should work on that. Maybe maybe have people uh, who help also in uh, in getting guys inside because the queue is really long and frustrating. But all in all. We are in, so for for Kenyans, the fee is uh, is 200 shillings, yeah? Yeah, the fee is 200 shillings, and then the that's the citizen fee, which is 50 to make it a total of 450, since we are two. And then for non, uh, for residents, it's 400 shillings, and for, uh, for, what is it called? The name has gone out of my head. Oh, for those who are not Kenyan citizens, they pay 1,200, yeah, so that's the fee for coming in to for Jesus, so let's let's go in and see what what they do for us so guys this is the perimeter wall for for Jesus and then uh, it's a whole big area which we'll try and see and then from here you can see the outside like that's where people are getting in uh, to pay their their fee and get in so we have quite a walk to go Ooh. Your unfit girl is already here breathing so heavily. It's been a whole day of walking and walking. So if this is what the content. I, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. So we'll go in now that uh, it's uh, every room has uh, different info. So we'll go in and see what's going on in the in the different rooms. So watch till the end just to find out what's happening in Fort Jesus. Put here. This is the first uh, rail that was brought by, by the Sultan. This is the carriage that used to carry the Sultan. Yeah, you can imagine he once sat here like I'm comfortably doing. So this is the first rail brought in for for the Sultan. So let's go and see what we have on this other corner. Skeleton for a humpback whale. A humpback whale is uh, is in seas around the world, and uh, it has a lifespan of 45 to to 100 years. Yeah. Uh, I think the good thing is that they have like all this info where you can uh, you can get to find more because I, I really don't have much about. So. exercise for today <laughs> now is this what the sultan used to say an ancient piece so guys this is the omani house huh? omani house this is where the omans defeated the portuguese after I'm just reading through, yeah, yeah the, the history behind, uh, behind this Omani house. Oh, so we have the portraits, I get them, those are the, that the, the late Sultan was being saying, like this is the other one, Sultan bin Tariq, and then this must be a uh, Please do not touch. Oh, this must be a team that helps you all. There's so much, there's so much uh, history to learn. Huh? A lot of information, some that obviously I didn't know. Wow. 
So this is what the ivory, huh? ivory from the elephant. That's the elephant chest. And then this. Um, Oh wow, black pepper, cardamom, these are some of the spices that uh, they were also using in those ancient days, which we still use up to now. And that's just the, the map showing the, the coast of the Indian Ocean, how, how everything was so these are the Omani weapons. Yeah. Wow, that has, must have been very heavy. It just looks heavy. Uh, that's the sword. Those are the bullets, the gun, the rifle. Oh. And then I don't know if some are written in Arabic. In Arabic. Oh, they are translated in English as well. So all this info, eh? guys. I'm just doing it for you, for free, because I want to, all of us to uh, to get good content yeah? and just get good information. So what's this? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the stamp. Stamps dated back to the era of Sultan. Oh, ah, when sending uh, mails, yeah, these are the stamps they used to use back then. Then. Uh, Is what most of it is written uh, in Arabic, so these are letters, uh, a letter from the owner of the Al Said magazine. So, some most of them are, are letters. Mm -hmm. Wow, so this is just uh, look at this. Man, I just say, you know, household tools, handcuffs. Then more letters. So, where I'm standing, yeah, this was the their toilet. This is what they used as the toilet. So, it's it's really deep, it has gone down, so they would uh, use here as the toilet. So next, I want to show you uh, the deepest well, yeah? In Kishwahili, they say Kisima, Kisima Chamaji. So this is the, the well where they used to, uh, oops, sorry, where they used to get the their water. The guns that were here. And imagine the, the soldiers used to carry this thing. Eh, from the photos, you can tell they are very big guys, so it makes a lot of sense because I just wondered how one can carry this. And they're very heavy, you can't even like like lift this up, huh? so all of them. It's now under innovation, so you can get in there and see what's there. So this is what they are saying, the Arabic monument. Oh, okay. These were all from the from the transition current coil was found seven feet below the surface of the Zizi Road Mombasa for the doorway of Mir Hag of Mos. 15th century. Shani and Jahaz. 
You, when you watch those ancient movies where the slaves were being uh, taken in different uh, in different areas, they used to have such things. So I don't know. They hide them maybe here. They wait for those who are retaliating to finish. Then they take them to a different spot. Huh? <laughs> Where the, the boat would come in, bringing the ammunition, bringing anything that's coming from the other end of the shore of the, uh, of the ship. So they would come, get it from uh, from that entrance, and then come through here. Really, really cool. uh, this is uh, deep history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So we are done with the with the inside bits of Fox Jesus. <sighs> so it's been uh, it's been quite a day, guys. So exhausted and tired and uh, super hungry. So I'm just walking along the famous uh, the famous street that has all the coastal businesses. collapse let me come with me and let's see what we're gonna have wow. now this um i'm just from having my lunch i decided to eat at the famous barca restaurant yeah they have really good uh, Swahili cuisine dishes. I've enjoyed. I I forgot even to take a photo of what I was I was eating. I ate their biryani, beef biryani, which is really really nice. So you only need to try it out. So I'm full. Yeah, I have more strength now to go home and uh, and just call it a day for today. So I wanna go back home and uh, just have some rest. Yeah.